What's up guys, Bearded here, and as I put the sword through my face, welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Vanilla with Sprinkles on the Gaming Evolved server. Now, it's been a while since I have actually played on here, and not gonna lie, I am surprised that some of my dinos are still alive, but there's definitely some things that I need to do grinding-wise, like... In here, uh, I have gas on the go, but I'm going to need more at, at some point. Also, let me just check, make sure that... Uh, let's see. Okay, yes, it is still here, I think. Yep, everything's still there. So, um, I don't think I've really lost anything. It's just a matter of grinding some materials, um, like for getting berries and stuff, I might have to get a Bronto again. I might have to get another Quetz, uh, Quetzal. Cause I have an idea in mind. I, I kind of mentioned this a long time ago already. Oh, what the heck? Two chickens are attacking a crocodile. But anyways, I need to find me a Quetz again. I'm kind of wondering if I could just buy an egg off of somebody. Because I need it, uh, I, I mentioned the idea when I first started this, but I want to have a cat army. Yeah, so that the, the purple puppy is going to be the leader, and then I'm just going to have like 20 or 30 Sabertooth, maybe try and get some mutations on the go as well. I also realize I might not be able to get them into caves, but one thing I kind of want to do is... I'd take a random male and female and like take them to the entrance of the cave, breed them in the cave, and then just do a cave run like that. See how that goes? I want to adjust my sensitivity. There it is. There, that's a bit better. Now I don't think you guys will get as sick. It's really fucking windy. So besides having the saber tooth army, the other thing that I like. I will still need dinos for specific things. For example, with metal and stuff, uh, unless there isn't already a farm somewhere, uh, I'll need an Anki to uh, help me gather metal. And then uh, I'll obviously still need a flyer to transfer it or a boat, depending on how, how much time I want to, to spend transferring it. And I might want to get one of them chicken birds for wood. Um, We'll see. And the other thing about like getting a Megalodon, I don't like the water at all because I have so much bad luck with jellyfish. Now I know there, I did research on this before. I think there's one or two uh, amphibious, is it amphibious? Is that the word? Uh, dinos on the water that can defeat the jellyfish. But it's a matter of getting that dino. So I think for this episode, I'm going to work on getting the Bronto first for berries. Also, by the way, this might be the last recording um, in my bedroom, basically. Yay! I've pretty much always been recording in my bedroom, but starting sometime this week, uh, like the week that I am recording this, I should be going into my new office and pretty pumped for that. Hopefully, we'll be getting lots more done because it won't feel like I'm just staying in my bedroom all the time. And also, I can work on like soundproofing and just better quality overall. Alright, so I have that. I can get rid of my sack. <laughs> oh, yeah. That didn't work. It's not Minecraft. There we go. Okay, so I guess we are going to go find ourselves a Bronto. I don't know how easy it will be on this guy because can't I switch seats uh oh uh oh uh oh yes please land well we're off to a great start how the hell do I go down X is up oh fuck land in the water land in the water That didn't work. All right, guys. Well, we have our Bronto here. Um, I realize I'm taming, technically taming him the long way, and I probably shouldn't be. So I'm just going to do that and uh, let the taming go down, keep his consciousness up, and 
then we're just gonna go from there. Um, it's a level 66, so if I look at him again, plus 32 levels. Hang on. Plus 32 levels, so that would be almost 100, level 100. That's not bad. Um, I actually had to travel quite a distance to find one. There's, I was finding nothing but Brachios and um, uh, Diplos, but I finally came across this guy, and he was actually way over there, and I had him chase me all the way over here across the water, and then I was going back and forth on this island, and uh, I'm hoping that... Um, Oh, I can't remember the the name of the dino, but it's like it's the dino that swam. It's got a big fin on its back. He was somewhere down there, and I hope he doesn't come over here. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wait this out, get this guy hungry, and then I'll tame him a bunch, and then we'll take him home and go from there. guys well the bronto has finished taming i uh i let it starve a bit and then i i put in the food it started taming but it was still taking a while so i just kind of left it and then i logged back on it was done and also while i was waiting for the bronto i came oh, i'm stuck i am stuck there we go i came across uh a baryonyx over here and it was wasn't a bad level at least for for me anyways um so I tamed this Baryonyx here. From what I know, like when when me and Seb went through the caves, he had a Baryonyx, and supposedly they can go through in most of the caves uh, as a mount, like you can go in and out with it. Uh, I don't know if that's still a thing, but I also like the fact that uh, to get around on it, I mean the the style is pretty fast, but I think that thing is even faster maybe we'll see but uh yeah i went ahead and tamed it but that just i'm realizing as well i i thought it was uh a carnivore and it kind of is but it, it takes it takes fish so so i'm gonna take these guys back and mix up some saddles and then we are going to do some things Alright, so I've got the saddles on both the Bronto and the Baryonyx. There. And now let's take the Baryonyx out for a test drive. It's a little heavy because I've got stuff on me. Should be considerably less weight. Moving a little bit faster. I can work on its speed and stuff, but uh, let's see how well it does on attacking things. This swim's a little slow. Oh, I gotta press shift. I actually have to press shift when I swim. I like how it dangles its legs. Okay, let's see how this goes. Actually, let's start with something small. <laughs> what are they good for again? I can't remember. Okay, let's start with a few Parasaur. Okay, well it does attack okay. The only thing now... I think it, it can only do its other attack in the water, right? 
Oh, here comes the alligator. Yeah, I can only do it in the water. Oh, hello. All right. Oh, he had something on him. Huh. After all this time, there's a Bronto that spawns over there. It kind of looks a little cooler, to be honest. It's only a little... Um, actually, no. Not really. It looked did from a distance. It almost looked digitalized, but now, seeing its legs, it's like, eh. It's also a level 6, so... So I think what we're going to do next is I'm actually going to try and tame the Quetzal on my own. First I'm going to need the, uh, I'm going to need a frog. Now what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to have to level up my flyers, or one of them anyway. They're a bit slow of a flyer, faster than a Quetz, but still slow. But your sti- oh, I'm stuck. What's your stamina like? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna have a seizure while I look at you. 925, okay. 658. Looks like I will be taking the Tappy. It does kind of have more control anyways. But I would like to try and level it up. <laughs> he went flying. Alright, um... Here's the level up, so... Let's go with... My damage is fine. 925, yeah. If we could get that up to me, even a thousand, that'd be great. Uh, I might, I would probably still have to land a couple times. But it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, this is silly. They're, they're not as harmless. They're, they're not as harmless? They're not, I don't know. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I'm going to... I'm back here so I can ride you! Can I... Let me ride you... Finally. Alright, you stick with me. Options. Change name. E. I'm just gonna name it Barry. No. I'm gonna name it Barry. <laughs> I sneezed. I'm ashamed the Bronto. I'll tell you guys what, you guys put down in the comments what you think I should name the Bronto. The idea of naming it Bro just popped in my head, but, um, yeah, just write down in the comments below what you guys think it should be named, and I will name it in the next episode. Alright guys, well that will be it for this episode of Ark on the Gaming Evolve server. Um, I wasn't expecting to get the Baryonyx, but the Bronto was the main focus. I got a decent one, I'm going to be using it to gather berries and stuff. I, I want to keep the greenhouse going. Um, I want to get a dung beetle so that uh, the poop is easier to deal with. Uh, then hopefully that go goes well. Uh, wood is still an issue. I'm going to tame a... Oh, don't, yeah. I'm going to eventually tame a Therizino. Uh That's a nice level one right there actually. But I'm going to need to put it in a taming pen uh, there's one down over that way. Hi, how are you? Hello. And that, that will be used for getting wood, because uh, I'm gonna end up needing a lot of it, because I need charcoal, and so I need to burn a lot of wood, and then I need wood to build things, and so yeah. Next episode, we're gonna name the Bronto. We're going to try to capture and tame a Therizino, preferably that one, unless there's a higher level. And 
Also, I will be going over to the over to the swamp in that direction and uh, going to try to find a, uh, a couple frogs. I'm gonna fly, pick them up, fly them over here, uh, tame them, and I don't know if I'll breed them to a higher level or if I will just find a high level and go with it. But essentially, I will pick it up with the, the Flappy Tappy and then chase down a Quetzal and hopefully succeed in taming it that way. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. I'm uh, glad to get started on this again. I hope to keep doing it. Uh, I think for now I'm going to stick with one arc episode a week. Uh, it could become more. I'm, I just moved into the new office. I, uh, I'm starting to do much more work. Yeah, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out all, any of my social medias that you can find in the... Uh, header section of my channel and also feel free to check out my patreon and as always guys bye from you god i hate this freaking cat